Hey guys, what's up? Low Design here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make text onto a background so it looks realistic. This is what I did in my abstract speed art. You can do it with objects too. Basically, anything in Cinema 4D. So, what you're going to do is open up Cinema 4D. And then go to your render settings. Go to output and make it 1280 by 720. And go to effect, ambient occlusion. And change the maximum array length to 150. Go up to save, change it to PNG, and just choose where you're gonna save it. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop because that's where I usually save everything. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is go on Google and find like a street, like a New York street or Main Street. Just search that. Thousands of them come up. Now go to light and go to background. Double click down here, make a new material, and load a new texture, which is going to be your street. And I'm just going to use this one. And after you do that, just drag it right on your background. Alright, now go here and then go to plane. Now with this, you're going to make it so it looks like it's on the street. You may have to rotate it a little bit and rescale it. Also, I'm about to hit 100 subscribers. I'm like at 85 or around there. If you could please leave a comment of what you'd like to see. I might do a graphics pack, but that's what most people do when they reach 100. So I'm not sure. And uh, yeah. Alright, just rotate it. That looks good. Now, drag your background material on your plane by holding control and dragging it right on. <clears throat> now what you're going to do is right click plane, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and hit Compositing. Then hit Compositing Background so it's checked. After that, we're going to add the text, and I'm not going to change the text. I'm probably just going to resize it to save time. That looks good. And you can use different colors, too. It, some colors may look darker than others, but most of them work. Now, what you're going to do is drag it down until it goes under the plane, and then you're gonna just bring it back up right where it looks good I need to rotate this better alright that's good now what you're gonna want to do is add a light And no, I'm not gonna add a light. I'm gonna add softbox. Um, you can add a light, but I find that softboxes look a lot better. And what I'm gonna use is Grayscale Gorilla's light kit, and you can find that basically anywhere over YouTube. But I'm not gonna give out the link because you can find it yourself. And this takes forever to load, so I'm just gonna pause the video right now. Alright, now that it's loaded, go to overhead softbox and ring light. As you can see, the text looks dark, but when you render it out, it looks pretty good. And I'm just going to pause the video again, because it's going to take a little while. Alright guys, now that it's finished rendering, you can see that it looks like it's on the background itself. And this is a really cool effect to use on Call of Duty videos like in cinematics and it's just a really helpful effect. 